Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. I was going to say welcome back to the experience podcast. <laughs> so congratulations everybody, we are over 1000 subscribers now. This is something completely mind blowing and was not something I was expecting when I first started this channel. We are also three patron members strong and any financial contributions that are made towards this channel are going to go back into making these videos of a higher quality. Alternatively, you can also make a one time donation using my link tree. Now I have received a couple of requests to make a car video series tutorial, and that's going to take a little bit more time as it is a little bit more challenging and I need to do a lot more research before I make those videos. I've also received a couple of requests to make a walkthrough series with my aircraft tutorials. So the aircraft tutorials go very slowly and they go into things step by step. But there are some more intermediate users who would like to go through a walkthrough rather than look at things that are going a little bit slower. So that's something I'm considering doing. I might start with a simple aircraft like the Airbus A320 or the Boeing 747 um, in a bit um, because um, the 747 obviously has its own unique design as well. But obviously everything that I have taught you guys in the tutorial series is applicable to all airliners at least. Later on in the future, if we want to go towards fighter jets as well, we could do that as well. Anyway, so let's go back to our Fusion and let's see where we were at. So the last time we worked on the skids and overall when you look around, this seems like a really, really good helicopter. Now, one thing that, that's missing from this are the details on the fuselage. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making these windows and doors similar to how we did in the aircraft tutorial series. Now, if you've already watched that and you know how to do it, you can skip this video if you want. I would highly recommend trying this out on your own first and then come back to the tutorial and see if you did anything different from what I did. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sketch on the plane of symmetry as always. Sketch a rectangle. So I'm just going to go from there so here, and now we're going to round this. So use the fillet tool. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. And obviously we don't want it to be that much. So we're just going to reduce the radius of the curvature. And there we go. That's all done. Finish the sketch, modify, split body. I'm going to select the fuselage here. And the splitting tool is going to be our, whoopsie. Uh, the splitting tool is going to be our sketch that we just created. There is unhandled intersecting tool data. Try without intersecting tools. I'm not sure what that means, but let's just go ahead and press OK. OK, I did the job anyways. OK, so now let's focus on the door. Again, I'm going to create a new sketch on the plane of symmetry. And just go back and go from there to there. OK, and just repeat the process. So I'm going to fill it this. This, 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 and this. Decrease the size a little bit. Finish sketch. Again, split body. And in this case, I want to split the fuselage again. And press OK. And now you can see that this is one body and this is another. OK, so we're going to repeat the process for this window as well. Again, create a new sketch. If you do, if you do want, you can just create um, all of this on a single sketch and just reuse the sketch again and again. OK, so I'm just going to draw this. So I'm going to hover over that white dot and then I'm just going to drag over here. And there we go. And there we go. All right. So in this case, obviously, the radius are going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to say this one and this one maybe are the same radius. So just go ahead and press OK. This one's going to be a little bit higher, which is great. And then there's going to be this one. It's going to be a little bit higher. Great. Finish sketch, uh, split body. And Make sure you select the right sketch and there we have it. Okay, again, repeat the process over here. Now this is actually similar to what we did for the cockpit design in the aircraft series. So right there, now we're gonna use the fillet tool. Again, these are different fillet sizes, so I'm gonna do them manually. Again, this is going to be more of a walkthrough video than a detailed step by step because um, once you know how to split the body, then you can just do it again and again. Okay, another sketch. And let's go to the line from there to there to there to there 
and finally there. Great, again, use the filler tool. That one's good. That one needs to be a little bit more. That one needs to be a little bit less. And finally, we have this one. Finish sketch, split body, splitting tool. There we go. So again, once you know how to do it, you know how to do it. Okay, now may come the tricky part because now we have to focus on the side profile, but also um, at the front profile. So I'm going to select this and we're just going to start off with the side profile first. Okay, and you can see over here that this is a curved line instead of just a straight line. So I'm just going to use a fit point spline, start here and somewhere there. And just to save us a little bit of trouble, I'm not going to be using this line to intersect that part because if I recall correctly, this nose is, is a different body um, when compared to the fuselage main body. So if we use this line there, then it's going to have problems with um, cutting. So I'm just going to use this um, in a way that it doesn't intersect the lines just yet. Okay, again, obviously we can go ahead and change that and we'll see we will face a similar problem when we're working on uh, this section over here. All right, so finish sketch, split body, and then we're just going to use this and press our right. Okay, there we go. So now if we just have a look around, you can see that this is already starting to look really, really cool. Okay, and obviously we're going to start um, adding some colors to it and that will make it look even better. So let's see what happens when we create a sketch. Start from here, somewhere from there to there, to there, to there. Okay, uh, fill it and that looks good. And another one. And that looks good. So let's see what happens when I try and split the body. This body and the splitting tool is going to be this one. And split this body and the splitting tool is going to be the same one that we looked at. So the sketches, that one there, and that one. So if you split the body separately, I guess it doesn't mind that. Yeah, so if you split the body separately, it wouldn't mind splitting it the way we the way we wanted to sometimes you may encounter a problem that says it it's intersecting or it doesn't want to it doesn't want to um, split it in that in that case what you could do is you could combine before splitting you could combine the fuselage and the main nose that we created earlier into a single body using the combine tool and then split it using the new sketches that we created okay great so what we have here is a fully split um, body, uh, a helicopter with the detailed fuselage. What we can do now is add a little bit of color to it. So what I can do is just create a new component and call these call this windows. I do remember saying in the aircraft series that it would be nice if we made the components beforehand, um, but I didn't follow my own advice, so I really apologize for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the bodies from our uh, component. So here we have the main fuselage, and obviously it's named it weird because we didn't rename them properly. We need this one, we need this one, this one, and this one? No? That's the one we need. Okay. I'm going to drag these bodies into the Windows component. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Windows, Appearance, and I'm just going to add the glass heavy color to it so that it becomes black. And everything else can just be white if you want it to. So that looks pretty good to me. Or if you want it to be a different color, you can do that if you want. Now, obviously, one more thing that um, you can do is add libraries to this. So what I mean by libraries is um, having a sort of design uh, as in an outer appearance or brand of your helicopter or your aircraft. So for example, here, I have my TEX standard library for my helicopter and aircraft, uh, and it consists of this beautiful blue uh, sort of shape uh, with my logo right over there. So obviously, if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do it. Um, you can just follow the same tutorial as my aircraft library tutorial because it's going to be exactly the same process. So a final thing before we leave, I'm just going to um, add an appearance to all of these bodies. Um, I guess, I wonder if we could just, yeah, that that seems interesting. So I'm just going to do this and let's see what happens if I try to apply an appearance to all of these all at once. Oh, look at that. That was cool. 
Okay, so they've all been um, sprayed once. Uh, I'm going to make this one a black color because it's a blade. And maybe I'm going to add a black to that one as well. Um, and one thing that, if you haven't noticed, is we didn't end up mirroring the horizontal stabilizer. But of course, we can go ahead and do that as well. Um, so... So all the way from here to here, I guess, I'm going to make this all black. And regarding the skids, maybe we want to make them a little bit more gray instead. So we can definitely go ahead and do that. And obviously, you can go ahead and render this if you wanted to. I would recommend making a library. It is quite cool. It adds a little bit more personality to it. Um, and one thing I want to do just before we head is I'm going to mirror this. So we're going to click like this. And this and the mirror plane is obviously plane of symmetry. Press OK, and there we have it. Congratulations, guys. So if you reach this point, uh, I hope you like the way your helicopter looks right now. Obviously, if you want to make some modifications, you can always go back in the timeline and change things around. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This is possibly the end of the helicopter series. I hope you've had a great time. And I really hope you can like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe consider subscribing to my Patreon or making a one-time donation. The next series that you'll be seeing is either a walkthrough series or a car tutorial series, depending on how much research I can do before the next video. And I also hope to see you on my other channel, Text the Experience, where I'll be uploading my podcast as well as my music. Once again, thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Take care.